What's up guys, it's Trevor Hogg and welcome to Beyond Transmission, a place for spiritual and personal growth where we travel the world together and explore topics from philosophy to theology and beyond. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe here and feel free to leave any questions or comments you might have below in regards to this topic. Today, we are in beautiful Hawaii, uh, one of my favorite places on this planet and uh, it, where there's always a green backdrop. Today, we're gonna be talking about Kundalini Awakening. First off, for those of you that are unfamiliar with what Kundalini is, Kundalini is a Sanskrit term from ancient India that identifies the arising of an energy and consciousness which has been coiled uh, at the base of the spine since birth. And it is the source of the life force or pranic energy, chi, bioenergy, whatever you want to call it. Having what people coin a Kundalini Awakening is waking up that dormant energy and allowing it to rise through your body from the base of your spine through the top of your head. The symbol for the Kundalini is actually a serpent that is coiled in a sleep that one causes to awaken and rise up. And this is why we see so much art from all around the world, especially from ancient times, um, and especially from uh, the eastern parts of the world, where these enlightened beings um, are either taming snakes or having them arched up over their heads. We also see this in Christianity, but a lot of the symbolism has been lost with misinterpretation of the Bible. For example, the story of the Garden of Eden uh, could actually have been stolen from Eridu texts in ancient Sumeria. The Kundalini serpent brings knowledge of one's divine nature as it climbs up the tree or the spine and awakens the inner centers of wisdom for that individual known as the chakras. I have a totally different video uh, that I'm rolling out on the chakras that I suggest you checking out. Now, I understand this is just one way at looking at this story, and we'll, we'll go into much more detail of the symbolism behind many stories from the Bible from an, more of an esoteric perspective. Um, to give you an idea of what it might feel like to have a Kundalini awakening, many people say that you can physically feel the energy actually rising up. And, and this can begin anywhere. Sometimes you, you feel it in your stomach, behind your stomach area, uh, in your spine, in ways of burning sensation. Uh, sometimes a sudden, bolt of energy that bursts in your heart or uh, comes from what they would call the third eye chakra. It feels like it blows off the top of your head. Basically, um, there's no one experience that fits all, but after having the experience, apparently it's like you've switched your body from 110 volts to 220. You are now in a completely different state. Your perspective uh, over yourself and your world just completely changes. So imagine seeing the world with expansive vision. You have keen perception that combines innumerable perspectives at once. Uh, you can understand your, your feelings per perfectly, and you also sense how others are interpreting their world and how they feel. Um, so their judgments become clear to you as well. Um, that's where clairvoyance comes in, and you're able to really read people before they even open their mouth. So the question is this. Is this Kundalini Awakening experience something that one should seek out? I mean, it seems positive, right? But could it be negative as well? Um, well, the real answer is this. It can be both. Just like truth isn't always beautiful and everything beautiful isn't always true, when your body comes more in line with your energy, you'll start to see life for how it really is and uh, in, in what you would call probably the fourth dimension. The reason I say this uh, could be negative is, um, is because a lot of people already have their belief structures completely worked out and set in stone. They're, they're good to go. So when something like this happens to them, uh, possibly without them even looking for it, they either think they're going crazy or it's so much out of alignment uh, with what they previously believed that it really throws them for a loop and it takes them some time to adjust. So as part of this, uh, that person might go through a total spiritual and life crisis. If that's the case for you, find a spiritual teacher to help guide you through this. If you feel that you're beginning to experience something similar to a Kundalini awakening, um, or it's already happened to you and you're watching this video, it's very helpful to understand the process and the intention of your own life force as it does awaken. Um, so that you can rediscover the authentic direction in this new way of looking at things, this newfound wisdom that, you, that, that you've attained. As difficult or confusing as this experience might be, when you begin to experience this awakened life, um, 
you may find simplicity, contentment, unconditional acceptance and presence as a result of this, according to so many people. We will go over practices um, of how to awaken our prana, our life energy in different videos, but I really hope that this gives you at least a glimpse of what the Kundalini and its awakening is all about. With that said, stay curious you guys, and we'll see you next time.